real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Chantel Johnson was friends with the defendant, but she suspects the defendant is jealous because Chantel only has one child and the defendant has three and one on the way. Chantel co-signed on a car for the defendant and she's suing today for unpaid tickets, car payments, and car repairs. Defendant Thelma Jackson says she's been friends with Chantel for seven years, but she has an attitude, especially when she drinks Hennessy. Thelma claims Chantel repossessed the car, so she's countersuing to get her down payment and car payments back. Start with you. Okay, well, I met Thelma seven years ago. We both were working in a nursing home at CNAs. Um, I realized then that she was distrustworthy. I shouldn't have trusted her from the beginning because she talks too much. That's one thing. She um, tried to talk to one of my exes like a year ago. We went to the lakefront and I turned around. So no, learn, no sooner than I could turn back around, she was in his face trying to get his phone number or whatever. Totally nice Sometimes I think that she may be a little jealous of me. Probably just because I'm more, a little bit more financially stable than her. I only have one child. She has three. She's pregnant now, as you can see. But so how many baby daddies, you know, we don't, I'm sorry, I don't mean to, to try and say I don't mean that. to use baby yeah. daddies, but I just want to show you, Your Honor, how, you know, she's not trustworthy and right. she's very what disloyal. What do you do with her being with men? Who you got? <laughs> <laughs> Tell them about her. What? She still work with you? No, we don't work, no, we don't work together anymore, Your Honor. Okay, what happened? Um, actually, I quit working there at you that particular fired? nursing home. <laughs> no, I quit because so my mother had... So when I said that? I just I Did she know. get fired or quit? I believe she just didn't show up for work one day. That's getting fired. <laughs> That's All not right, true. Now <laughs> you give me some background, then we'll get to the tickets you're suing them for. Um, basically, me and Chantel has been friends for seven years, referring to the incident at the lakefront. We were all outside drinking. When Chantel's drink, she has a very temperamental attitude, especially when she drinks Hennessy. A young man walked up to her and engaged in conversation with her at the lakefront. Out of nowhere, she comes back to where me and her friend was standing at, which she walked off and left, and said, oh, so you start trying to talk to him? Y'all over here talking about us? Not you sure trying to get his number? And we both looking at her like, what are you talking about? He said he heard us over here talking about you. We like, we said nothing about you. We were not trying to talk to each other. I mean, she not just true, have a no. very controlling attitude. She feel like she has to control everything around her relationship. Dad, that she was drunk off that yak. Yes, she was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, cognac. Oh, Hennessy. Not Cone. true. You said she'd be drinking the Hennessy. I am a sociable drinker, you Until you Honor. drink that yak. You I'm get that yak in you. It's all over, doctor. I'm a sociable drinker. <laughs> all right. My drinking has nothing to do with that. All right. So let's get to the car payments, tickets, and car repairs. <laughs> Okay, um, basically we had went, I believe this was May 15th, to go down to the car lot. What year? Um, 2011. All right. So um, I took her to the car lot, and now, mind you, I had a bucket at the time. I'm driving in a hoop, do you know what a bucket is? Mm -hmm. So, And I was a friend and took her to go get her a new car. And she somehow, oh, with the tears, and oh, my credit's not good enough. They, but she made totally it seem like her credit true. was so good. And when she get there, they like, well, your credit's like a 200 or something. So I'm like, how you think you're gonna get a car? That's you not see true, what I'm saying? Honor. So then they looked at my credit. They're like, oh, well, yours is, you know, kind of up there. I so, know you didn't co-sign for this woman, and you had a, as you said, a hoopty, and you co-signed for her to get a new car. Actually, I felt sorry for her and I need a new car <laughs> <laughs> you got any pity for me I just was I know she was going through a hard time and as a friend I trusted her and I believed that she would make the payments on time or you know I whatever. will too <laughs> <laughs> and she failed to do so she failed to do so she has been behind seven months now um, she has tickets um, Let me have what evidence you have. To the vehicle. Time. Damage to the vehicle. I have the pictures. Let me see and everything. Okay. Okay, you have the unpaid car payments, yes. unpaid tickets, February 12, April 12. Cars, car repairs. It, it repossession right now. It has been repossessed? No, no, I put it up until I can. You're hiding it. <laughs> 
Yes, because I want to catch jail. up on the payments. It ain't worth going to jail. Boy, I plan on paying Trying to something. keep your credit they told me to I had stay to, out of jail. To the 31st of this month, so. So not only has she payment. ruined your credit or nearly ruined it, she has you uh, set up to go to jail. Basically. By hiding it. Basically. And I just don't want a repossession on my credit. I won't do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, my lesson is long. I, I learned my lesson. I won't do you like that. I learned my lesson, Judge. Mm, mm, mm. And I don't even have a vehicle now at all, so it's like, I don't know. What do know. you have to say, man? Um, you basically, say? in my defense, it had nothing to do with my credit of why I couldn't get the car. Actually, I had a car, a 99 Nissan Central. Mm -hmm. The car broke down in front of her house. Mm -hmm. I was... <laughs> <laughs> right. I was you say like, the sister car broke down uh, in front of her you house. You hear that, right? Sister broke down in front of her house. She owed you one. Plaintiff Chantel Johnson was friends with the defendant, but she believes the defendant is jealous because she has three kids and one on the way. What are you saying? That's not it. She what? basically took me to the car lot <sighs> to get the car, which is not brand new. It was an 04 Malibu. So when we get to the car lot, the problem was my driver's license. They couldn't verify my driver's license. When they ran my credit, I got the car fine and clear on my own. But since they couldn't verify my license, they needed somebody with a license to put it in their name, which she did agree to do it. Basically, she did sign off on the paperwork, and I co-signed for it. With that <laughs> co-signing, it was a $1,500 down payment along with the trade-in because they took the car, which they gave me $1,000 for. I did make my car payments up until February. And then I did run into financial problems because I became pregnant and was sick and like in and out the hospital and wasn't working. So that is what caused me to fall behind on my car payments. Okay, so what about the tickets? I mean, the tickets, hey man, I did make a payment plan for them. Okay. Which I put down $500. What about the car repairs? I mean, all this happened while the car was in my possession. Uh huh. I had financial obligations to this car. She had never had financial. True it is in her name and my name also. So mm -hmm. it's not just in her name. So mm -hmm. she is not the only one taking a hit behind the car. She shouldn't take any hit. <laughs> I mean, what makes I said, you think she, she should her, lose anything? She shouldn't lose anything either, but she wants to say repossession. Okay, technically speaking, she repossessed the car for me. I sure did. And she has that right because you breached the agreement with her. The agreement was with the finance company. No, no. when she put her name on it, you also have an agreement with her. And uh, you have caused her a loss. What is your counterclaim? I mean, she didn't lose any money behind it. Yeah. Yes, I she did. <laughs> you had use of the car. Everything you paid for, you paid because you had use of the car. Okay, exactly. So the money that she's saying I owe her, actually I owe to the finance company and not her. No, she's responsible she's for it. She's not making the payments. I mean, it's still Well, she not, she not making the payments because you won't With give her the money you owe. I mean, okay, and technically her. speaking, I only owe from there. Only, they only want the financial money from <laughs> April until July. The car is in her possession. So technically she has August because she took the car from me July 29th. <laughs> okay. All it, your logic is wrong. And I do Anything she lost, any dime, any penny that she lost as a result of co-signing for you, she is entitled to. If I'm the she... co-signer on the car. Pardon me? I'm the co-signer. Mm, mm, mm. You see what I'm saying? I hope nobody watching will ever do business with you. Because <laughs> your logic is totally flawed. even worse. If you're just the co-signer and she's the principal, then she's even more responsible for the car that you've had. Judgment for the plane if your claim is dismissed. Have a good day. Thank you, Judge. I'm happy I won. I'm happy I came on Judge Mathis. Thank you. I mean, I have no problem with the rolling. I did have the car. It was my responsibility to pay and that so that's basically it. We might still be friends, so I don't know. But I definitely won't be putting no cars in my name. I'm <laughs> fine with me. That's I mean, it. I did have a lesson learned behind this also. Yeah.